Hello. How are we all doing? It's me. You're joining me back. It's been a while. I've just stopped at McDonald's um, in Crewe and I'm headed for London this morning. Um, I wasn't going to do this trip um, because uh, today um, has been one of those uh, situations in the UK, we do get episodes of heavy rain and flooding and then um, I wasn't going to go um, to the XL in London, I've been there before, I'm going to the Drone Expo. Um, so I grabbed, grabbed a coffee, I had to get mad early. Uh, give me some time to get down there. I don't know how much I can uh, do footage. Um, so, what I'm deciding I'm going to do is um, when I get there, I will do a probably do loads of stills and shorts and put them together and then do a voice it afterwards um, um, but the reasons why I'm going to this event I have been really quite into drones for quite some time and um, um, as you know I've had quite a lot of things going on on my recent life um, as you know um, from previous videos and stuff um, that's why I've been off the radar so to speak um, so this kind of trip is really just a bit of a breather for me as well um, so to get back into the swing of it and start doing a bit more videos so um i'm just uh, headed for um platform seven so i'm just getting going up to the station and then uh i'm drinking the rest of my coffee and then I can put you in a bit. So um, I'll see you over there and um, sort of catch, uh, try and tell you what's been happening with me uh, and what I've got planned. Okay, see you in a bit. Lisa Wiley. Oh, four. Cavanti West Coast. So this is London, Houston. Always, always getting the wrong platform. Let my steps in. What's the junction? And London, Houston. Do steps. Let's have a look at it. That's still all the way. Hartford, Brunford, <sighs> so, uh, yeah, so it is this one. We <laughs> donate. I'm hoping. It seems like this morning that we have got um, we've got two units joining up together it seems yep it looks like 
Chelsea, 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 Chels
this won't happen overnight but one of the main reasons why I'm choosing to take this approach to split my content up into different channels is because some of the content will be uh, outsourced but also uh, there'll be engagement with people who are investing their time and their money with me and it's only right that I do the same um, with my time and money and that is the, going forward that was the main reasons why I'm choosing to split um, the content up. but generally this will be my main official channel um, so keep uh, looking out for updates in the come we are shortly going to be arriving in London Bay shortly so stay tuned and uh, hope you enjoy the video Well, as it happens, I made it down to London. Um, slightly little delay. There was little ponds in the fields as I go, as I went along. But um, yeah, all good. So now I've got to find my way back over to Excel. So I will see you in a little while. In a bit, um, yeah, um, I'm glad I got off that train though. Uh, after having my coffee and can a can of Coke along the way, I was bursting. So, anyway, right, I'm gonna make sure I'm go heading the right way. So, see you in a bit, guys. Hey, yeah, um, I'm at. Um, the underground now, and it's notably uh, a bit. It's very true about the noise and the fumes down there. It is really, really bad. <laughs> well, people can stand it down there. I don't know. I really don't know, but it's there's a lot of fumes down there. This is where I need to pay attention where I'm going now, so I don't get lost. Usually, I'm quite good at this. Not exactly my train, but there's the same units as mine. So, the next one's mine. So, in a couple minutes. Less fumes on this platform. It's a lot less fumes and a lot less noisy than that last one. Good grief, it was bad. Um, I suggest um, having Earplugs is a good idea, or headphones possibly a good idea down there. It's mad. So, anyway, don't be too long now. But this is it. So, one of the main reasons why I have liked clones uh, is because. I think it's like similar to helicopters and they're very young, especially if you're old enough to remember but you the little helicopter um, Howard from Thomas the Tank Engine um, I've just got into aircraft it's so one of the things I really do like and then of course in the modern day world we also have drones um, and uh, yeah, since they came out, we've been fascinated with them. So finally, I get a chance to go and see what they were like. Um, 
we say I've not done their license. Um, I would like to get involved somehow. <laughs> Hopefully, um, play a big part in future vlogs. That would be a really good thing to do. So that I can be a bit more creative, do try and make these videos as exciting and fun as possible for you guys. So I'm just on um, this. One to point out as well, this train um, I'm on now is driverless. If you haven't ever been on this, the DLR train, it is driverless. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm not going to film. Um, this the bike is, but even though it's quiet, it's it's still quite still quite busy. Um, with people in the so, yeah. Um, and I also need to go and find somewhere I can charge this one. Um, uh, but yeah, we're nearly there now. So. Um. I hope you're enjoying this so far and I uh, am going to try and get some still stuff new little clips today, put more together um, and then uh, and then when I've done that I can head home. So, um, I really need to do something about this. I'm not happy about this. It's, 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 in the last few weeks, this has been becoming a bit more serious thing. I need to do something about this. Anyway, won't be long where I be departing and walking up to the Excel. So, uh, get in the bed, guys. One of the important points that I wanted to mention about drones is that there's a lot of innovation, a lot of money being shared, a lot of design, a lot of smart um, thinking has gone to creating this privilege of technology that we have today. And it'd be a great shame to have all that compromised because, in my opinion, uh, there are a group of people that uh, with film locations in order to upset some other people and create that onto uh, content on YouTube and that's not really my thing. I just want to make that important point. Um, so anyway, stay tuned. Hi guys. Hi folks. Right, I am I'm here. Um, because stupid me didn't um, saving my battery on the way down so I'm a little bit low but I will do as much as I can and possibly do stills like I said um, and we'll have a little walk around okay um, and show, it, show you what it's all about Catch it. so here we start with some still shots of craft that's been created here's one that will jet power wash uh, a skyscraper from the side a company called Skywash Really, really smart. Aspects uh, parts of Scotland. I hope it'll help deliver a lot more care at home uh, and uh, just allow the NHS to adapt to new ways of working. If we wanted to sell it down, it's improving healthcare quality. So it's giving people who are living in rural places in the Highlands and the Islands in places where they're they're not maybe close to the healthcare they need. It's not just drones themselves, there's a lot of parts, there's a lot of components as well being offered here. A lot of uh, communications with IT uh, cross-linked because these things will uh, collect a lot of data depending on what you're looking for. Uh, laser, thermal, temperature, all kinds of things. There's lots of ideas that are coming up. Here we have Mildiff, um, a Scandinavian company that's branching out now and um, that tablet there that you can see on the right is a good shy of eight and a half grand and it's taken they've built their own operating systems to uh, help with medical military and commercial uh, applications yeah. here we have Zephyr um, a flight simulator company based in the US not the normal 
game console computer game. Uh, very, very high standard. Uh, game training they get people to uh, get to the standards. Here we have autonomous drones. This might be quite interesting for me, I think. Don't think that it'll be the first either. Power Zero. I like that shape of that that drone there we've just seen there. Yeah. The sheer scale of this size of craft that Zeus have created is amazing. A lot of money has been invested in this craft and people have to appreciate this. A lot of testing goes into all this because there's competition like every other industry. Um, so it has just been a really, really good uh, day out today. Really enjoying this. And the other thing is that most of the people here are so approachable and so intuitive. Um, you're, you know, you're welcomed. It, it, it's just a really nice, relaxed atmosphere. Really, really good. Um, you're, you're engaged. You're motivated. You feel, you feel good. Um, in lots of ways, even if you're not really into drones, but they're just fascinating things to watch, you know, um, really, really good. If you'd like to see more of this, comment down below and let me know what things you would like to see in future videos, um, just sort of get some ideas what you'd like to see, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Here we have Sony with their uh, camera lenses as well as the drones as themselves um price options some pre-launches here as well um just like so much so much here you know um so much to take in one day that's cool. i have heard from sony that the battery life is really impressive compared to what used to be like Really, really impressive. So, uh, especially if you're needing long applications. What's so impressive is that there's so much ideas into creating different types of uh, information and, and data, uh, you know, uh, and even more still yet to, to be developed. And can you use this like abroad as well? Is it well, we've got two clients in America, um, and we're in Australia at the moment, so it's like, you know, I think it might be a little bit more global. Yeah, we concentrate in the UK, yeah, as well as the time base, but people are hearing about it, and um, they love drone dressing, so we give a demo of how um, it operates, so, so it's, you know. It's just how it's laid out, it, it's... Yeah. Try for 14 days, and there's no commitment to see how it works for you. Have a go on it. Oh, yeah, so it's got all the live uh, weather yeah. dates yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. So, what's that? Just a couple of stills from the other halls um, at the Axel. Like always, there's always lots of things going on at the same time really worth a trip if you've never been uh go and check them out it's always event so <sighs> those were the days that announcement was my a familiar thing for me years ago it may well happen soon you never know anyway i'm back in crew um what a day i don't think i was gonna do it um, it was a treat. It was, uh, then, uh, last minute, I thought I'm gonna go, and uh, really, 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 really enjoyed it. And I do know that they are 
in future events like so. Um, but uh, I need to go pay um, and use the facilities. Um, but yeah, really, really, really good. Um, I can see that drones are just going to get massive. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and film the boots when I get home, go to bed, and then uh, I'm in Anfield tomorrow. That's work, and uh, hopefully, very soon, I can tell you what's been going on and what hopefully I'm um, trying to get arranged for more videos if I can. Right, see you in a minute. Stay safe, Thank you for staying tuned with me all this time on this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. I've just given you uh, an idea of what I'm going to be up to with some of my projects. Um, let me know if you've got any ideas what you would like to see more of if drones is your thing. Um, I hope you're staying well and safe. The next stop will be Gaiden on the next vlog so stay tuned and i hope you stay safe and stay well and be happy and i will definitely see you on the next video take care everyone